my Sagittarians out there. So please make sure to get my book at AmazonAbondsandNoble.com. The link to that is in the description box below as usual. Um, comment on the video, like the video, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, yeah, let's get into it. If this thing falls, I'm going to just go ahead and pick it up, but whatever. Uh, this is for Sagittarius, by the way, right? So you have the Four of Wands, the Seven of Swords. You have the Temperance, the Six of Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles, the, the Judgment. You have the Hierophant, the Four of Pentacles. You have the Emperor, and last but not least, you have the Two of Cups. So what I'm seeing here for you is... Uh, the temperance does represent Sagittarius anyway, right? So you did show up in your own uh, reading. Congratulations, right? But let's give this thing some context. Let's actually talk about what's going on. So the four of wands, the seven of swords, and the temperance represents how a lot of you Sagittarians... Um, I'm just seeing how a lot of you Sagittarians, right, the Four of Wands, y'all are trying to build a home, right? Y'all are trying to make sure that whatever, you know, haters, people who try to derail you are not around you at all. You're basically doing some summer spring cleaning, right? Some summer spring cleaning. And this is something that you need to, to do for a while, all right? The Seven of Swords and the Temperance represents how the Seven of Swords is about how um, you need to also understand that, you know, you're you you are very much so keep, kind of keeping your head down and cleaning up your living space, right? Physically as well as spiritually, uh, spiritually, getting rid of the people whom by excommunicating them out of your life by just not talking to them anymore, right? Because you don't want that uh, these types of people around you. So the thing is that the the uh, the uh, the temperance represents now how it is that you want the good stuff, right? You you want the you want benevolence to start coming into your life. The six of pentacles and the ace of pentacles represents because certain things just don't necessarily add up for you as of right now. I mean, it is, but. Um, prior to you kind of taking kind of a reflection or some sort of a reflective look at your life, things didn't necessarily add up for you. Because that that's, you know, they, they like to fix cars outside, you know what I mean? You know, um, but the Six of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles represents how this is the case because when you had these types of people in your life and you wasn't necessarily uh, living cleanly and you were living foully, right? It was more so a situation where money would disappear. So you would have people who would steal from you, right? Uh, um, <clears throat> you would have people who, you know, if, you were in a, if you're in a crowd, you would like to, you know, you try to hang out with that said crowd or whatever the case may be. You go out in the crowd, you kicking it with these people. And what happens? You're the one that ends up paying. So you would basically take a look at your finances, right? Not just your finances, but just pay attention to how the money would be a reflection of 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 your the good things that are coming in for you. And a lot of you Sagittarians would look at it and be like, where where did this money go? So the thing is that the Ace of Pentacles is that you're starting to get it back. And the judgment, which is also a fire card, right? No, no, um, no uh, zodiac sign is particularly attached to this, but it, but the judgment represents fire, right? So it can so it can essentially be a substitute for uh, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius, either one of them, right, or all three. So the judgment is about how so you realize once certain things started to end up missing your chains, you know what I mean, your jewelry, you know what I'm saying? I had someone steal a chain from me. See. I had someone steal my gold chain and stuff like this that my mom bought. Uh, uh, this was back when I was a teenager, some odd years ago. It was one ounce. If I would have held on to that thing, you understand what I'm saying? But, you know, people, you know what I'm saying, coming in, stealing and stuff like this. Nah, can't have that around. So the things that the Hierophant and the Four of Pentacles represents how this is a situation where the Hierophant and the Four of Pentacles are about how... You Sagittarians have to get right with the the 
have you have to get right with yourself because ultimately that's where it that's where um that's that's where the holy ghost is if if you catch my drift right is in your own uh is in your own heart right so the things that the four of pentacles represents how um you have to learn to also uh be very practical in your approach right sometimes fire signs can end up being uh fire signs and air signs can end up being sensationalists right where a lot of the times the the fire signs or the air signs y'all can end up being sensationalists in the sense of like whatever it is that you are enthusiastic about you 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 sometimes you can lie because you end up like making it bigger than what it actually is so you sagittarians have to watch out for that around this time right and then you have of doing that because one it makes you arrogant two it knocks you off your game because not everybody who claims to be your friend is going to have your best uh, interest in mind when you tell them that you're prospering and you're doing all this and you're doing all that. So the things that the emperor and the two of cups represents this, this being a situation for a lot of you Sagittarians where so the next step after this, the next step after this is for you to uh, ultimately understand that uh, for you to maintain your power, but do it correctly. Okay. Main, to to maintain your power and to maintain your position, but do it correctly, right? Two of Cups, the way that you do it is quietly. You do it with what? A few people. Only a few people are qualified for you Sagittarians to know if those few people at all, you know, even that may be too much. Let's clarify the, uh, the Two of Cups. You don't want to. You don't want to end up like Young Dolph. And young Dolph was a Leo, another fire sign, right? So I'm saying, and Young Dolph was wearing a, a, a yellow T-shirt, which on the Kabbalah is the sun, right? And the sun, there's a hidden Sephra right above Tepharath that you don't see, which is the abyss or Doth right doth right directly above it that you that you don't see right which is that empty some sometimes you'll see that empty space sometimes you'll see a sphere there uh, the, that sphere doth is representative of aquarius right the false also known as the false sephira or the false kabbalistic sphere but because because aquarius is a false zodiac sign right even though technically it is it, it can it can Libra and, and Aquarius can actually, Libra can come into place with Aquarius, but that's, that's, we're getting into a whole different thing. But point is, be on your P's and Q's. So you have the Eight of Wands, you have the, uh, the Wheel of Fortune, and then you have the Hermit. So this is about how a lot of you um, Sagittarians, right? When you, when these people, when the few people who do get to know that things are starting to go better for you, keep it on the low, keep it between the two of you, right? It's supposed to be a clan. The Wheel of Fortune and the Hermit, the Wheel of Fortune, not everybody has to know that obviously things are going well for you. The Hermit, um, and be and be mindful of whom it is that you say something to, because those people can make it seem like they really for you, but they will try to sabotage what it is that you've got going on. So you really want to be, you really want to pay attention to that, right? And how, one of the ways on how you know this is because, like I said, if there are jinxes, like if you happen to be in a situation where these people are constantly, every time you hang around them, there's there's some, some terrible stuff happening, or if they tell you to shut up or, you know what I mean? Things of this nature, you know what I'm saying? You make an opinion, you know, the, the stuff that they, the you know, when the stuff that they say, they want you to empathize with it. But when you say something, you know what I mean? They always talking about you whining and stuff like this or whatnot. Yeah, those is weirdos people that you're going to have to learn to uh, cut off. 
because those people really don't have your best interest in mind. And how I know that is because I've had, I've been in situations where I tell people about something because I just can't figure it out. So I'm coming to the person asking for, for some sort of um, assistance, some sort of enlightenment. And the person going to tell me, oh, well, all you do is whine, this, that, and the third or whatever. This just, you know, just this, this disproportionate, you know, answer to, to, to my problems and stuff like this, just out of nowhere. So, you know what I'm saying? So, so those types of people who, who, who create that level of emotional explosion, explosion, excuse me, stuff like this for absolutely no reason. Those are the people that you ultimately got to learn to watch out for because, you know, they, they, they're very, very suspicious at how they deviate back and forth. But that's pretty much it. Comment on the video, like the video, subscribe. Peace.